from under the dome at Tropicana Field. MLB Network is live and on the air. Digging in, Eddie Hawk. Not He's not third. among the league leaders Touchdown. in home runs, but Eddie. his total does Hawk. top this ball club. Here comes the first pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. And Harold, as we take a look at the Rays entering play here tonight, they come in in the midst of a stretch where they've dropped six of their last nine. Well, Matt, I mean, the simple way to put it, they lost their last game. This is where baseball comes the best to me, where all the cliches come in. You got to have a short term memory. And you really do. The game's over. You can't do anything about it. You got to come back today and play better and win. Down the first baseline. But a foul ball, and the count holds it 0 2. The 0 2 once more. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. On 0 and 2, you'll sometimes get a guy to chase a fastball out of the zone away or up, but when it's way down like that, it's much easier to lay off because you can tell the ball is moving further away from eye level as it comes in. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Swing and a little blooper to center. Simone sprinting after it. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. When you're hot, that's what happens. Balls like that fall in for you. When you're cold, that gets caught. This is a hot streak he's on right now, so you take advantage of it. Ride it while it's good. Now at the plate, Xander Bogarts. And he's seen his numbers on the rise here over the last five games or so. A one pitch. Runners on the move for second. Now a bunt attempt here. And the throw is too late. He's on with a beautifully placed bunt single. So striding forward now, Dustin Pedroia. It's been a really slow start to the season for him, as you can see by the April numbers on your screen. 0 oh and 1, here it comes. High in the air out towards shallow right. Dickerson's there. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Striding in once again, the Eddie batter, Number Hawk. 10, shortstop, Eddie Hawk. First offering on its way. Hit hard up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Now a long throw to third. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Well he was definitely struggling coming into this one. But I think we could say that cold streak is officially over. That's his second hit of the game. And it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. Coming to the plate now. Xander Bogarts. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Ready to deliver the one and two. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. Over one for him here in this one. Dustin Pedroia. And he's down on strikes, so they get two men into scoring position, but that's as far as they'll get it. Digging in and looking for more, Eddie Hawk. He doubled earlier and carries a two-for-two two line into this appearance. First pitch on its way. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Well, Matt, that's two quick outs, but if you look at the pitch count, it's way down low. He's being aggressive, and so are they. He's got a chance to get through this one. And here's a fastball that's nowhere near the zone. It's 2-0 now. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent. It's not like they're getting great pitch to hit either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. Into the windup, here's the 2-1 and one pitch. Way out in front. Well, as advertised, Matt, that splitter has been spot on. I mean, that is the, the game separator right there. He's able to use that split, looks like a fastball, and he's using it effectively. 
And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Order going. Digging in once again, no, Eddie nothing. Hawk. Two Don't for three with a Eddie. double on it. His line so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. That's a big pitch right there. It could change the at-bat. When you're facing a good hitter like this, that first pitch, strike one, is so important as to who's going to control this at-bat. Right now, pitcher's got the advantage. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. Young has it in his tracks. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So they're held in check here this half. Ready for another chance. Eddie. Number 10. Doubled and singled in four at bats in this contest. Here it comes. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. Hey, not a bad take there on that first pitch. Not a real good idea to go up there looking for a changeup to hit. Sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Now a fastball here, not close, and it's one and one now. You know, something to keep in mind, they're really burning through that bullpen, and this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series, and maybe even the whole week ahead. Fouled back. Looking for the strikeout. Two. One, two is the cut fastball, but he holds back two and two. Soft liner to the right side, but an easy play over at first to glove it, and the side is retired. Sox go down. Just more of the same from Craig Kimball. He comes out of the bullpen and fires a scoreless ninth inning to pick up the save. Business as usual from one of the best the in the game. Four to two, the tonight. final score tonight. David Price takes the win on the mound. His baseball for you on a Tuesday night from Tropicana Field. Tonight, the second of three. Digging in the switch hitter, Eddie Hawk. Coming into Don't this stop. one, his season Eddie. home run total Hawk. tops in the American League. Into the windup and the pitch. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. And Harold, as we take a look at the Rays entering play here tonight, fair to say they're not playing their best baseball right now. Losers of five of their last six. Yeah, Matt, it's been a rocky start in this homestand. I mean, you're one and three. You only won one game in four. Uh, the fans are, are a little restless. This is a big game to win right here. It really just kind of get some found. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end. Down. Stepping in, Eddie Hawk. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Eddie Hawk. From the stretch. Takes a good curveball at the knees. This is the situation where there's a lot of pressure on the infielders if the ball is put in play on the ground. Both the guy at first and at the plate are burners, so a double play is going to be yeah, tough. Even getting one out could be a challenge. A runner at first with no outs here. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And this one will be foul back in among the fans. Here's a look over to first, but the runner is back easily.
Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That was a nasty looking. Ready for another Nevada, shot now. 10. Eddie Hawk. He's 0 for Eddie 2 with a strikeout in this one. First pitch coming. Here it is. And a pitch out. Nothing doing though. And that's ball one. Throw over to the bag. Runner back safely. One oh count. Here it is. A change up over the inside corner. He's set. Here comes the one one. And this is fouled back and out of play. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Lays off the one two changeup and he's worked it back to two and two. He's certainly giving up plenty of hits in this one, but the funny thing is he hasn't walked anyone yet. That tells me he's throwing strikes, but he's just not throwing enough quality strikes. Tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now. Three and two. Three two count with a guy on first base that can run like he can. I think they got to send him right here. I think he's off and running. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Kiermeyer is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice. Ready once again. Eddie Hawk. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. First pitch of the at bat. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Now I'm sure these infielders know it, but this hitter can burn down the baseline. So if he puts a ground ball in play, the defense is going to have to make a perfect turn to turn two. Here's the 0 1. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Sometimes guys get a little less aggressive pitching with a couple of runners on base, but not here. That was two good fastballs to take control of the bat and get the count to 0 and 2. Fouled back. Here comes another 0 2. Low and inside with the breaking ball as that causes him to back up a bit. This is a big spot right here. Two runners on. You got a 0 2 count. You waste one. Now you make it work. Throw one in the dirt. Throw one high. Make him chase it. And you got a chance to strand those runners on base. Ball. Look out. That one almost got away two from ball. him. Two and two now. He's got him on the ropes at two and two, but I don't think he'll try to get him out with another curveball. He's seen it already a couple of times, so it's not going to surprise him anymore. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 and 2 to work the count back to 3 and 2, and he's seen a lot of pitches too. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Swing and a little tapper, but it rolls foul, so we'll have another payoff pitch. Well, he fouled that breaking ball off a little bit early, timing not quite there. Had a fastball to pitch before. He just got out in front of that breaking ball. The next three, two. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Souza is under it. Two down. Yeah, and we knew he was in a groove from the first inning, and he just kept this thing rolling and rolling and rolling. They couldn't get the anything going against him. A dominant performance for with a complete box. game shutout. Now from the home of the Rays, you get a look there at Tropicana Field in St. Petersburg. Coming to the plate now, Eddie third. Hawk comes Hawk off an 0 for 4. And Last night's ball game. Prior to the at bat, a check on first. And late reactions, and they got him. Well, this game is still getting underway, so maybe he wasn't quite awake yet over there at first. Hate to have a guy picked off, but 
I guess it's better in the first than in the oh. ninth. And Harold, the Rays, oh. as they begin play here this afternoon, they've been fairly punchless of late, losing last time out and, in fact, dropping six of their last seven. Well, it's the last oh. game at home before a seven-game road trip. You want to win this game because really seven games isn't that long. It's just one week. So you give the fans a nice taste today. They run out, buy tickets, and they see you in a week. Bounce to first. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And the throw won't be in time as he'll be able to beat out the recovery throw at first. Here's Xander Bogarts now. He's off to a good start at the plate. The average coming in just under 300. Now a move over to first. A dive, but he's back. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Here's the second baseman now, second Dustin baseman. Pedroia. He's back Dustin in the starting Pedroia. lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Swinging a soft liner, and that's in there. Base hit. Hawk rounds third and is digging for the plate. The run is in to score, and they take an early 1-0 lead. Well, he comes up with the big RBI hit right there. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Eddie Hawk. He'll step in to lead it off in the top of the third. Here's the first pitch to him. First pitch has him dancing to avoid it. It's ball one. Well, we all know he can burn on the base pass, right? But that's a little tougher to do when you've got a nice goose egg on your leg. It's tough to do like that. And he takes a cold strike one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Well, now it's a 1 2 count. He's throwing the same pitch three times in a row. He got ahead with it. Now let's see if he puts him away with it. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Digging in to try it again. Eddie Hawk. He's one for two in the ball game. Now here's the pitch. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Knee high slider that he takes a look at. Well, he finds himself down 0 2, but you know what? He looked at the first two pitches, but they're different pitches, both down. Good pitchers' pitches. Sometimes you got to tip your cap. Bottom dropped out on him, and that's a strikeout. And he makes the throw to first. Hawk is retired, two down now. Stepping up to the plate, Eddie. Batter number 10, shortstop, Eddie Hawk. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Now the 0 1. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Three runs, six hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. That misses one and two. Ready on one and two. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Now here's the pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Both teams with six hits so far. Again, he sends it out of play. He's ready with the 2 2 pitch. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. The 2 2 one more time. Oh, and he gripped that one a bit too tightly as it broke down and just about got him. 
well what do you do when guys keep fouling pitches off like this I guess you could back them off the plate by throwing one inside he's set here's the three and two and he swings and pops it foul behind the plate and he'll get back there to make the catch in front of the screen as they retire their man here for the second out. Well, maybe a little bit of a problem is they had to wind up going to that bullpen quite a bit. Five pitchers are going to combine to finish this one to get 